Hello friends, I hope that you are doing well. In this video, I will be discussing some of the best ways to get a host easily in the US after winning the green card DV lottery. If you find this information useful, please consider subscribing and also give this video a thumbs up. It motivates me to keep on producing content that is useful to help many. The fact is that not everyone knows someone in the US, someone in the US who can be a host to them, who has the, the address that they need when filling the DS-264. So not everyone knows someone. And who can be a host? Someone who is a US citizen or a green card holder. So if you do not know anyone in the US and you have won the DV lottery, how can you go about searching for the host? Someone in the US who will also be able to give you their residential address, which you need to get to fill in the DS-264, one of the requirements, one of the information that you have to enter in the DS-264. This address that you put in the DS-260 indicates where you're going to be staying and who will be staying with you. In other words, you can call the host your diversity lottery visa host. You need to have that information to fill the DS-264. Remember, at your entry into the U.S., you do not have the green card with you or already, but you only have a stamp in your passport. So this is the address where your green card will be sent to. So you need to give a valid address. The ways you can uh, get a host, number one, you can use the social media. By this I mean you can use Facebook, you can also use YouTube. In Facebook, we have groups. In Facebook, we also have pages. You need to start researching to know the Facebook groups and pages with communities from your, maybe your country that are living in the U.S. And join these chats their chats and join these groups and interact with the people there and when you've won the dv lottery that's where you can post that uh, you're looking for a host and since they have known you for some time as part of uh, of the of them you will get someone who will uh, be willing to host you you can also post on your wall that is on Facebook, maybe on Instagram, uh, stating that you would like you're looking for for a host in the U.S. and anyone willing to uh, offer you uh, hosting to maybe DM you, and then you can continue the conversation in your inbox. You can also uh, post on your status that maybe you're looking for someone to rent you a space in their uh, residential home. Maybe they can rent you a room in their home. So anyone willing to uh, host you in that way to also contact. The person who is willing to rent you a place in their home will also give you their address their residential address, which you're going to fill in the DS-260 form as your host's uh, address information. The other way is you can, use your, you can use the religious communities in the U.S. Maybe you're a Muslim, maybe you're a Christian, so you can search for information about the religious communities in the states that you'd like to relocate to. And maybe if you are a Christian, you can contact maybe the pastor uh, in that uh, uh, state. If you are a Muslim, for example, you can contact the sheikh in that uh, mosque. 
in the state that you would like to relocate to and they can be of great help to for you to get a host in that community so you can also use your religious uh, communities to get a host the other way is you can search for your country's communities in the state that you would like to relocate to for example uh, kenyan communities in uh, then the state the name of the state that you'd like to relocate to and since you're a kenyan uh, join these communities start the conversation and you might get another kenyan who will be willing to help you uh, to be your host and also to give you their residential address which you can fill in the ds-260 form so you can use your country's communities in the state that you'd like to relocate to if you're not able to see maybe your country's communities in those states you can also check for african communities in the state that you'd like to relocate to african communities and being an african uh, you might get another african who is willing to host you who is willing you to help you in that way by being your host and the terms of hosting you're going to discuss maybe in in details once they have accepted to host you and given you the ad, even the residential address so you can use african community to to get a host the other way is you can search for airbnb in the areas or the states that you would like to relocate to look for airbnb which you can uh, rent and pay to stay maybe for one month as you look for a job one or two months as you look for a job and once you get your job maybe you can move to an apartment so you can look for airbnb in the areas in the states where you'd like to relocate to then contact the person the owner there and request them to give you their residential address talk to them about the information that you need for the for to fill in the ds to 60 form that you need information of the host so that they can give you their residential address then you can use that in the you can add that in the ds260 so you can also use an a airbnb friends those are some of the ways in my opinion that uh, will give you a host even if you do not know anyone in the us once you've won the dv lottery so use any of the ways to get a host and then you can agree with the host on the terms of uh, the hosting they are giving you whether you're paying or maybe there's something that you'll be helping them as you as they host you in their place use the various communities or you can also rent uh, an airbnb and still uh, use the residential address of the owner to or indicating the DS-260 form because this is information that is very important and it is required. You need to have that information to fill the DS-260 form. Friends, that's all for this video. I hope you find this information useful. Please consider subscribing and also give this video a thumbs up. I hope to see you in the next video and I wish you the very best as you apply for your DV lottery. Bye.